The mist pass is one of the most useful passes in my opinion because it allows you to enhance the depth of your images. And I like it better than the set pass just because I feel I have a little bit more control over it. And it's also easier to save, frankly. You don't have to do it through compositing notes or anything like that. So in order to get a mist pass, all you have to do is go to your view layer options and under passes, you enable it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. But if I change my viewport to render mode and I go under my viewport shading options, there's a render pass dropdown that basically allows you to get a preview on all the passes you can get. So if we go to a mist pass, we see what we would get if we were to render our scene right now. So how do we change this? Since we enable the mist pass, if we go to our work properties, we can see now there's a mist pass dropdown that wasn't there before. The mist pass is relative to the camera, so this is telling you to set a starting point from the camera and how long the mist pass is running deep into your scene basically. So it is now starting at 5 meters from the camera and running 25 meters from that point. So it's basically finishing at 30 meters from the camera. The fall off is just how the transition between one point to the other is done. I usually just set it to linear. Now, if we change these numbers, let's say this one to something like 50, we can see it updating in our viewport. But in order to help us making sure we set them the way we want to. We can select our camera and under its properties we can go to viewport display and enable the mist checkbox. We can see now that in our viewport we get this line and these two points that, as you might already guess, correspond to these two values. So let's say the mist pass we want we should run through the whole scene and we start changing these values we can see something like 1000 okay that's getting us there maybe a little bit more 1100 yeah hit f12 to render once your render is done all you have to do is click here and look for your mist pass and there you have it all you have to do now is go to image, save as, and that's it. If your mist pass is looking with transparency, you're not lo looking at the black values, but they're just transparent, all you have to do is click here and go to color, and that should fix it. So there you have it. That's a mist pass out of Blender. Let me know if you have any questions or what else would you like to see in this quick format.